Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk about mountain weather and ski conditions. We expected a storm out west, and we're getting it right now. A couple of live cams first. This is at uh, Alta. You can see the snow coming down uh, quite nicely there, actually. Let's go to Jackson Hole. You can see snow coming down there. The trees just got absolutely gorgeous in that uh, particular shot. All right, and the snow is going to continue in both of those places through tonight. So let's get into the analysis here. Radar satellite at this hour, you can actually see the low pressure spinning right here coming out of Nevada and moving into Utah, pushing the moisture, the wind up across the Wasatch and into the Tetons. The low will actually move through Colorado and spread that snow through Colorado, but this is not going to be a big snow for the state of Colorado. All right, so let's look at the future radar and satellite. And I've got the clock up there on the top, so watch the clock as we kind of roll through time. Here we go into Friday morning. At Friday morning, a lot of the snow has stopped on the backside through Utah and Wyoming, but it is snowing in Colorado. Now notice also in the Pacific Northwest, this feed of moisture will play a role. That will continue and play a role in Montana, Idaho, and even down into Jackson as we kind of move through time. And here's what I'm talking about. By Saturday morning, new moisture has already moved into Montana, Idaho, and probably starts to spill down the pipeline the jet into Wyoming and the Tetons. Everything in Colorado is over by Friday night into Saturday morning and really just in a waiting game there. But watch what happens is by Sunday morning, again, that moisture is coming up over the top and riding down. So little waves of moisture will continue into Jackson Hole through Saturday. And then there's a larger batch. You kind of see it back here. That's going to load up and begin to move down into the Tetons and probably snow a little heavier from Sunday into Monday. Um, so that would be the next storm system for those areas. Always interesting to look and see what it's going to do. Here's the snowfall forecast across the west. And so by the time we get into Friday morning, we've got these kinds of additional totals across the west. Colorado, again, not looking at anything huge, but additional totals in the Wasatch, the Tetons. Now watch upstream. The numbers start to really tick up in the Pacific Northwest, cruising over into Banff and the interior as that flow just pushes moisture into those areas and it starts to come up over the top and you'll notice the numbers here across the Tetons and into northern Colorado slowly tick up as those little packages of moisture drop south with the jet stream and that's by Sunday night and like I was saying the numbers in the Tetons will probably continue to tick up in the Monday as that flow hits that area from the north. Interesting just to look way down the road here at Christmas this is 1225 on the clock and I'm calling this the big and the big Christmas high pressure dome across the west. Unfortunately, it looks like this is going to set up and block a lot of weather from hitting California and parts of the interior there into Utah and Colorado, although some moisture may ride up through the Pacific Northwest up and around. But look at where the real storminess is over there along the east coast. So we'll have to get through this high pressure on Christmas, and then we'll see what comes after that. As always, thank you for tuning in here. I do appreciate it.